Throughout my life, I've come to admire many people. Specifically, one individual that I hold dear to my heart is my grandma Gomez. She is the biggest inspiration and influence I have. She is kind, understanding, and offers the best advice. I don't think many people can say that their grandparent is their best friend, but I can say with confidence that my grandmother is my best friend. I know that I can confide in her and that my secrets will be kept. I know that she'll give me the best advice to lead me to the correct path and make the right decision. A little bit of background on her. She was born September 6, 1929 in San Francisco del Rincón, Guanajuato, Mexico. Her full name is Maria Luz Gomez. She is currently living in Pomona, California and is 88 years old. As I've gotten older, we've had conversations about her tough upbringing and the specific circumstances that uh, have made her into the strong woman that she is today. After her father passed away when she was four years old, she and her family had to abandon the family home to live with other relatives. My grandma describes this time as a very difficult time in her life, mourning the loss of her father, but also living with strangers who were not kind to her. She had to cook and clean and basically be a maid for them. Um, also, as a young child, she wanted to go to school, but school was not available to women in that point in history. She said that a woman's role was in the household and to be a good housewife, so she had to learn how to be a, an obedient child. This also made it difficult to find someone to marry, but eventually she did um, find a mate, and she met my grandfather, Gregorio Gomez. They dated for some time, and then my grandfather asked for her hand in marriage. Um, my great-grandmother, Casimira Muñoz, was against the entire uh, wedding marriage agreement. Um, they gave, my, gran my great-grandmother gave them a year to be engaged, and then after that year, they were able to get married. Um, and they did get married, but unfortunately, my great-grandmother was not in agreement with the wedding, so she did not show up. And that really hurt my grandmother, but um, she's a resilient woman, so it affected her, but she didn't let it consume her. Um, after, their, after their wedding day, um, years passed, and they were still without a child. Um, this, my grandma says, was also very difficult because she wanted a child, and that's what people were supposed to do when they're married, have babies, and um, have a big family, but um, they never lost faith, and uh, God provided for them. They had six, no, seven children uh, while they were living in Mexico, and uh, they soon immigrated into the United States. Um, at the time, my grandmother was pregnant with my mother, and the doctors discovered a heart murmur because my grandma was having difficulties breathing and other heart conditions, um, and doctors really pressed for an abortion, but my grandma was completely against it. She was a strong woman of faith and said, I will not, I will not do away with this child, and she stuck it through, and um, thankfully they both made it, and she had two more kids after that. So now they were a family of 12, and they struggled to put food on the table, but they knew that God would provide, and they kept the faith, which was very um, amazing to hear as now a, a, an adult myself, you know, it gives me that, that um, inspiration that, you know, despite trials, you need to uh, really focus your eyes on God and know that he will provide for you. Um, as she's gotten older, she's had more and more in, Ill, illnesses, excuse me, and it's been very difficult, but she is a strong woman, and uh, she is amazing because she, you will not hear her complain. She trusts God and knows that he will provide for her and that um, every day is a gift and she is very, very blessed. Um, I hope that one day I can be just like her or even a, a smidge of the woman that she is today. She lives a Christ-centered life and gives the, uh, gives the example to all of our family to keep pursuing God even though we feel that uh, everything is going downhill. 
Uh, and to my grandma, I say thank you. Thank you for giving me words of encouragement and uh, really pushing me to pursue my education because you did not. And to others out there, I say, um, I encourage you. I encourage you to talk to your families, talk to your grandparents, because uh, their words of wisdom deserve to be known and uh, you really build that communication and relationship, which is amazing. Because once they're gone, that's all you have. So, thank you.